In this video I'm going to try my hand at some laser engraving and cutting. So I'm doing a review of this Diwali laser engraver from Made the Best. Hello folks. I uh, frequently get offered bits of kit for my workshop and uh, some, most of the offers I don't accept because uh, they're really not relevant to what I do but one bit of kit that I've been really keen to acquire is a uh, CNC laser engraver and cutter and I've had a couple of offers uh, from companies that never materialized to anything but a company called Made the Best reached out to me recently and offered me the, the exact spec laser that I was after and so I said great yeah so they have sent me one um, I didn't pay for it, but uh, they've sent me one to do a video review, so I'll, I'll tell you what I think. Um, I'm new to CNC stuff, so I've had to do quite a lot of learning and research. Uh, but I've been very excited waiting for this. And here it is. If I get it the right way up. Big box came by FedEx today. And it's the Diwali uh, laser engraver and it's a 20 watt version. Uh, so it should be quite powerful. That's 20 watt input. Output is 4.5 to 5.5 watts. Um, but we'll uh, set it up in a minute. I'll do an unboxing and uh, I'll try and show putting it together. I'll be back with you shortly. Well, I don't usually do unboxings, but as this is a... Uh, product review I thought I'd better show you what you get in the box it's nice uh, packaging all right so we have instructions because you do have to build this so, there's the laser module. Let's lift that out. There we go. Neat little thing. It's the power adapter. I'll need to uh, put a UK converter on that. Safety goggles, which are very important when working with lasers. Looks like a lens cleaner and some test bits of plywood and USB lead and nicely labelled bags with all the uh, steps in for building it. And there's the controller in there. the loom, the wiring loom, it's the feet, oh, dog tags, pet tags to uh, test it out with, and we've got some anodized aluminium as well to test some engraving on, that's some stuff to be going on with, I've also ordered a load of uh, laser ply to uh, try out some of the projects I've been designing. And this is the framework, the gantry and everything. Right, that's enough unboxing, let's get building. I was really uh, impressed with the build quality of this machine. All the holes were pre-drilled and tapped and the way it was set up, it squared itself up really nicely as you put it together. Everything lined up well and uh, it was just you know quite pleasurable to build it only took me well probably about half an hour i should think um here i'm just putting uh one of the end brackets on and they supply you with all the tools the uh allen keys and a little spanner and you just work your way around and follow the instructions and each step is uh, labeled with a little bag of the machine screws you need for it there's three feet you attach the fourth foot is part of the control panel and here I am just fixing those on 
as I say very simple job don't tighten up the uh, feet too much to begin with because you'll need to adjust them a little bit when you come to fitting the drive belts here I am fitting these little tooth belts that the uh, stepper motors run on and they're fixed with a little screw and a washer at each end and you just have to tension them up but it's a system that works very well it's a little bit fiddly threading them around the uh, wheels but it was a you know reasonably straightforward job here you can see I'm just fitting the screw and the washer and then it's a case of attaching the laser to the uh, Z or Z axis you just need to wind it down in order to access the screw holes for that Here I'm just testing it. You adjust the uh, Z axis manually, it's not a powered one, it's fixed. So once you've set your focus, that's fine. This is a limit switch, just limit how far the gantry can travel. And then it's a case of installing the wiring loom, which comes out of the control panel. It's very obvious where everything um, clips into the, uh, the things like the limit switches, the stepper motors, and the laser. And then you connect it to your laptop with a USB lead. And I'm opening the Lightburn software. And it will find your laser. And then you can start doing some burning. I'm starting with this test um, sort of sheet that I've devised. And here I'm focusing the laser using this little uh, spacer piece they provide. Just to give you perfect focus. You need to fix your plywood down flat so that it maintains focus throughout. And here I'm just doing a framing manoeuvre just to check that I've positioned the plywood correctly to uh, include everything in my burn. Make sure you wear your safety glasses. And here you can see the uh, burn is started. I did actually stop it part of the way through and uh, altered some of the settings or parameters because uh, I could see that I'd um, miscalculated a little bit so that's why there's some blank areas but what it is is really um, lasers the variable is you, the rate of movement across the piece the speed that the lasers moving and the power of the laser and the combination of the two will uh, either increase or decrease the uh, amount of burn here's my uh, smoke extractor just using a four inch um, my dust extraction hose connected to a bathroom inline duct fan which actually worked pretty well here's the uh, light burn software this is the um, free trial version so you can try it out for a few days to make sure you like it and that it works with your machine but it's not too pricey to buy the uh, full version but what these are are test burns so that you've got a graduation and it shows the difference between the speed and power. The left is a sort of an engrave and the right is a cut. Uh, and it shows how the power and number of passes can make a difference. But it cuts through two sheets of 3 mil ply on the sort of slow high setting. And really it's a case of choosing the setting that provides the cleanest um, burn without too much charring and I saved all the little pieces that came out and it was number K or letter K should I say that uh, seemed to be the optimum cut and it was three passes it took I was very pleased with that I did cut some of the uh, tests short because it, they were over burning and things but uh, Anyway, there's the um, special bed I made, and you can see it's actually burnt through, uh, and it's scorched the uh, base of that. So it's a very powerful laser in actual fact. For a diode laser, it's very impressive. But this cutting bed uh, is very good for when you're actually cutting through. This is my iPad case, it's leather, and I just uh, etched my uh, logo onto that. Or in burnt it on anyway. And here I'm creating a personalised uh, Christmas gift box for my daughter to, to give my wife. A few snowflakes and a message on there. 
and that's a sort of a wooden gift box but you can see the uh, detail and how accurate this uh, this engraved stuff really sharp lines really impressive and this was a much bigger burn using almost the uh, full 400 by 400 millimeter plywood sheet and this is a, a box generating um, piece of box generating software and part of the burn is these test squares and what they do is find the optimum kerf setting so that the little uh, finger joints all slot together once you've established this you can use the box generating software for uh, making all manner of boxes and here I've made a little cube and I also uh, engraved some dots on it so it makes a little dice or a big dice should I say or die but it all goes together it's very tight I might alter the settings slightly for the next one because it really was quite tight but there it is very accurate this thing well I'm uh, absolutely delighted with how I've got on with this laser um, I wasn't paid by made the best to make this video they sent me the laser to review um, and it's been really good I'll tell you if it wasn't but I'm really pleased with it I know I haven't got anything to compare it with it's my first step into CNC type stuff but the fact I am new to it and I had this thing from opening the box to having it actually running and burning something in less than two hours and and it's been brilliant hasn't missed a beat been really impressed and impressed with the versatility and the power of it they do two versions of this uh, 7 watt which is much lower output and this 20 watt which uh, is a sort of 5.5 uh, watt output if you can go for the uh, more powerful one because it's more versatile it's more capable of cutting but it's very accurate you can see this little dice I uh, made uh, it's absolutely perfect brilliant I'm really really pleased with that and uh, once you get the hang of the settings then all good uh, it's all you do need a laptop to control it and uh, you'll need the software to control it because the machine won't work on its own and I've been using Lightburn which is brilliant it does everything you can design your pieces and convert pictures with it uh, you can layer your cuts and so everything is done in the correct order and it powers the machine it does it all in one they do a free trial version to start with um, and then you can purchase it but it's actually good value and talking of value I looked at a lot of these machines um, prior you know to getting this one and since I've got this one and this represents really good value for money it's, I, you know it's brilliant it worked well for me as a newbie the price varies according to which area you live in and where it's being shipped from and which model you go for but it's really good value and it's you know I think that it would appeal to a lot of hobbyists there's a lot of uh, much more expensive machines out there which very similar specification to this nice large cutting area it'll do a 400 millimeter by 400 millimeter laser ply sheet it cut through two three mil layers of um, laser ply so I know it does six mil uh, so really really good got to be safe with them wear the goggles there's certain materials you can't cut uh, because they give off toxic fumes it's good to have some sort of smoke extraction set up eventually I'll build a housing for it um, but uh, yeah really good fun now I've got loads of possibilities um, to do with this machine I changed the uh, settings for some of the cuts uh, just to get a clearer thing but you learn as you go along it's worth setting out a test sheet and doing that initially um, but yeah I'm not being paid to do the review uh, I'd tell you if I didn't like it but as I say hasn't missed a beat gone really well with it 
I'm going to put some links in the description uh, to where you can buy it and they're affiliate links so if you do buy it through those I will get a small commission which would be really useful to help fund my uh, YouTube channel. So if you could that would be great. Uh, but I'll put all the links in the description to Made the Best and their other laser machines and to this one as well. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed that video. I do have some wood turning videos coming up and in fact I've got some that are going to be used with the laser. And I'm going to combine the laser and some wood turning. Uh, so uh, I might just get some done over the Christmas holiday, you never know. Well, thanks ever so much for watching. Don't forget to check out the links in the video description. And I shall be back soon. Here's some examples of uh, some of the things I burnt and cut using the laser. But you can see how neat they are. And as I say, don't forget to check out the links in the description. It helps me out a lot. And hopefully I'll be back soon with some more videos. Thanks again for watching.